in this video, I would like to troubleshoot some of your problems when you have low frames per second issues with our aircraft. First of all, I need to say, as it is mentioned in the manual and also on the explain.org store, that our aircraft is a quite complex aircraft and the requirements are higher. This is something that is needed to be there because this is just what we have to choose. We wanted a really nice 3D model and we really wanted a very sophisticated and realistic behavior of the aircraft. Nevertheless, we try always with each version to find here and there all the possible improvements in the code or in the 3D model that could give you some more frames per second. But you should just uh, read the requirements. It is very important that, I mean, the main feature is that you have to use a 64-bit system and 64-bit uh, explain. The best uh, is if you have uh, i7 processor, it, it is really necessary to have a dedicated video card. One gigabyte is a low level limit, two gigabytes is the recommended amount of video RAM. But with the current uh, video cards, uh, if you have three or more gigabytes, it performs well. Uh, around 790 megabytes hard drive space. But it is still possible that you will uh, experience some uh, frame rate issues. Uh, but in case you have a good hardware, it is not very related to our aircraft, but maybe also to the setting of the uh, X-plane and maybe some combination of very performance trusty scenery in combination with aircraft. So I will show you some settings that could just uh, improve your frame rate. First of all, also for those who are not again familiar with Explain or who are coming from FSX and from Prepare 3D, welcome to you. Explain is the future and we all are very happy that you are here. The rendering setting. Please go to click on settings and rendering option. The most important thing is that if you are experiencing some issues with frame rate. Please click here. Compress textures to save video RAM. It is very important to be checked. Also, the other thing is that our aircraft looks best when it is in very high resolution setting. Also, bear in mind that if you change this setting, you need to restart the explain. So I will just keep it like this as I have no issues. Other thing, of course, is stuff to draw here. And also uh, there are lots of things here. If you just fill in too much objects that could have a very bad effect on the performance. Over here, special effects. Draw per pixel lighting is good to have and also HDR rendering. But if you just switch this off, it will just greatly improve your performance. And uh, you just have to experiment with this. But if you really have a low frame rate, I would recommend to switch this off. Extended DSF scenery also. Cloud detail. If you don't use any plugin for explain clouds, if you set some weather with too much clouds, they are really getting down the frames per second in the explain. So either use some plugin that uh, uses different uh, drawing of the clouds or just uh, lower the setting or use some nice weather. So that is the recommendation. What else uh, you can do in explain that you would not probably look into is your viewing distance. So if you go to weather, please check the visibility. If you just lower the visibility, it could really significantly improve your frame rate. So that is another thing. And that is all that you could do in Xplane. Optimize the rendering setting, 
over here, click here, compress textures to VRAM, and maybe lower the visibility. What you could do in our aircraft is to use a low resolution version of our aircraft. The low resolution has low resolution textures and it uh, therefore doesn't take too much video RAM. So you can do this and also what people usually don't know, if you go to setting, uh, you can improve few frame rates also by removing some effects. So there is, for example, a complex fog effect. We can simulate this if we just drop a temperature a little bit more. And we have closed windows. You will see after some time that there will be some fog effect. Also, you can there is the rain effect. So we can just sim we can just show you how it looks. We will just make some precipitation here. And there is this rain effect. It will maybe combine now, so the windows will fog up. There is also icing effect. The ice is forming in front glass. And if you switch off those effects, rain effect, instrument dirt, and also if you switch off the passengers, they are nice, but you know, if you switch them off, you could get some better frame rate. So those are things that you could do. The scenery is other thing. If you have a complex scenery and the scenery is not tuned very well, it could happen that it will slow down the performance also. What is a problem in a, in a Cessna aircraft uh, if we if we would like to explain to you in a more technical way is that this front windshield is really large and you have a very good view outside of the aircraft for example if you have a Boeing 737 you have just a quite small windows or a Beechcraft so actually uh, the rendering engine is not drawing so much scenery as here in the Cessna so this is unfortunate, but of course we can't do anything about that. I hope that you will manage to get this aircraft working well.